We must be born again, regeneration, which means born from above. This passage of scripture tells us we must be born of life and the spirit. There is two works of the Holy Ghost, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and the infilling of the Holy Spirit. We must be born from a sack of water and the Spirit before you are born again. You were enslaved to sin and death and all of mankind before the resurrection of Jesus Christ was enslaved to sin and death. However, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you and I are set free, dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want to let you in on some important secrets that will open your mind to the precious understanding of the Word of God. If you will, turn to Genesis chapter 1. I'm going to use the authorized King James. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. And it reads, In the beginning... God created the heavens and the earth, period. <clears throat> if you notice in that verse, there is a period, a period at the end of the verse, or there's a period at the uh, period next to the word earth. Why is it there? Because in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, <clears throat> period. It doesn't tell us when he created the heavens and earth. He simply tells us that he has created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, he had, he created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2, and this passage of scripture, verse 2, it reads, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Now in verse 2, it says, And the earth, and we have the word was, But, in the original manuscripts, the Hebrew, in the Hebrew, this word was, is, became. So, it is important to note that there is three heaven ages and three world ages. During, in, during the time, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, in the, uh, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. During this time, before we go on to the next verse, before it says, became, we're referring to, verse 1 is referring to the first world age and heaven age. And during this time on the earth was the period of time when the dinosaurs existed. And all of us in heaven <coughs> were angels. And the devil was an angel. He was named Lucifer. And
بودند He was a, in a very lofty position as an angel. And he's, he worked his way through the uh, through the ranks, so to speak, I guess you might say, to protect the mercy seat. But he got cocky and puffed up and he wanted to sit on the mercy seat and to be worshipped as God. And so during this time the devil, three third of the angels rebelled against God with Satan. This is called the catapult, the overthrow of Satan. And the rest of the angels stuck with God. So instead of <clears throat> destroying us, God destroyed the first world age and heaven age and establish the second world age and heaven age in the span of you might say eight literal or non-literal thousand years and the reason he established the second world age is because he wanted to give us a chance to be to pass through this Second world age once, born a woman, innocent, with the memory or uh, the memory of the first world age and heaven age wiped from their mind, to give them an opportunity, born a woman, a chance to be born innocent, to choose to serve God or not to serve God. And so, in the span of non-literal, literal, literal thousand, eight thousand years, God established the second world age and heaven age. Now when you read the following passage of scripture in Genesis, day here refers to the, in the original language, as a non- an undetermined period of time. It's not referring to a literal 24-hour day, but it's referring to an undetermined period of time. Turn to second Peter chapter 3 and we also read about the three world ages in 2 Peter chapter 3 starting in verse 5 it reads for this day we only are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perish verse 7 but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and the perdition of the godly men. So we see in this, this is not talking about the flood, but this is referring to the catapult, the overthrow of Satan. The world that was, the world that is, and the world that is to come. Then uh, later on 
In this chapter, we read about uh, destruction of the world, which simply doesn't necessarily mean destruction in the sense a word's got to go back into the original Greek, which means uh, all the bad things, the permanent bad things will be burned out, destroyed, and the earth will be rejuvenated. Now, <clears throat> in this sermon, of course, I'm not going to go into detail about the three world ages and three heaven ages. I'm just going to give it a give you a cursory study on it. If you're more, if you're interested in going into a depth study on the three world ages and three heaven ages, I have a message that you can download for free. All you have to do is go to YouTube, type in my name, and fry, find the message, the three world ages and three heaven ages, and download it absolutely free. All you have to do is get yourself, download yourself a program called MP3 Rocket, type in my name, and look for the message call, Three World Ages and Three Heaven Ages, and download that sermon for absolute free, absolutely free, where I go into detail on the Three World Ages and Three Heaven Ages. Now, turn over to Revelation chapter 12. Starting in verse 1, and it says, There appeared a great wonder in the heavens, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she began, she being with child cried out travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Verse 3, And there appeared a, another wonder in heaven, and behold a great behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth then the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to deliver for delivered to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born and so you see it says here a tell uh, a tell drew the uh, drew the third part of the stars of heaven. This is referring to the first world age and heaven age. This is a passage of scripture that starts from the beginning all the way to the end of all, uh, all the way from the beginning to the second coming of Christ. And this we read about uh, his tail drew the third parts of the stars of heaven, and this is referring to the catapult, the overthrow of Satan, when, when one third of the angels rebelled with Satan in the first world age and heaven age. To Second Corinthians 12, to I knew a man in Christ above about 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell. Or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. God knows such one was caught. God knoweth such an one caught up to the third heaven age. There's not three heavens. There's only one heaven. This is referring to the third heaven age. The Revelation 21, verse 1. And I saw new heavens and new earth. The first heaven and the first earth were passed away and was no more. This word fir, uh, first here means former. 